It's all right here. So you're, you're lucky where you live, in the country, but still got places to go out and eat. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Is everything okay? Yeah. And you're with Marlon, right? Yes, Marlon. He's the latest one. <laughs> <laughs> the latest in a long line of husbands. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Marlon's great. I mean, it's not been plain sailing for us because he wasn't well and we You got any kids, I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, our little boy Leo. Well, he's, he's nearly 12. And then Marlon arrived with his daughter. So. Lovely. It's yeah. lovely. Coffee's nice. Why are you here, Gus? I mean, really. Because you, you said you wanted to meet up, but you don't seem particularly interested in anything that I've been up to. And I don't believe you've come all this way just for the coffee. I need to ask you a favour, Rona. It's like what we were going through, you know. Same all over again. Sorry. Yeah, it's gruelling for both of us. But especially for Lucy. And expensive, I mean. So expensive. Unlimited, as you know, right? IVF, the great money shoot. But you have Leo, which is great. No, look, I'm so happy for you. Have you thought about adoption? It's a, a bit of a non-starter, really. She doesn't want to miss out on the early days. Well, neither of us do. It's... Come on, Gus, you're still a young man. And remember what they said to us, that we could keep trying because it might just happen. Well, they said it wasn't impossible. Have you been tested again? It, it's not going to happen. Well, they know that for sure? Rona, I've had cancer. I'm not having kids in a natural way, that's for certain. I can't imagine what it is I can do to help. You could say yes. You could let me and Lucy use one of your... our... embryos. 